Military attorney Todd Callender is an expert in international law and morbidity mortality law. He's been filing lawsuits and blowing the whistle on the enemy ever since they made the shots mandatory. These lawsuits have led to his research team amassing thousands of whistleblowers that point to a planned Marburg epidemic already paid for by taxpayer dollars in the recent PREP Act. Todd Callender said that inside the lipid nanoparticles, there are sealed pathogens, including E. coli, Marburg, and Ebola, and that different pathogens can be released by different frequencies, pulsed through the 5G network. Inside of these shots that people already received, inside the lipid nanoparticles, the hydrogel, there exist pathogens inside of the particles that have not yet opened. Those pathogens are chimeric. They include E. coli Marburg, Ebola staphylococcus, and brewer's yeast, amongst others. We know that upon the broadcast from the 5G system that is now employed across the United States and the world for that matter, um, when they broadcast an 18 gigahertz signal uh, for one minute, three different times as a pulse, it will cause those lipid nanoparticles to swell and release these pathogenic contents, thereby causing a Marburg epidemic that they've already spent the money on. They've already, it's already done, right? The Marburg epidemic for purposes of the law has happened, and now we just need the actual uh, disaster to happen. And, and there's actually worse parts to it than that, including the 1P36 gene deletion that effectively will turn those poor people into zombies. As odd as that sounds, our government's preparing for that. He also points out that 1P36 gene deletion is the number one side effect of the Pfizer shots, a disease with zombie-like symptoms that make a person aggressive with a propensity to bite. The CDC published a public service announcement on the preparedness for a zombie apocalypse in 2011. That same year, Con Plan 8888-11, Counter Zombie Dominance, was published. The military's advanced ammunition known as multi-purpose rounds are single rounds comprised of multiple projectile options to be chosen via direct communication from the tank fire control to the cartridge chambered in the breech. So it would make sense to arm weaponized vaccines the same way. Popular online personality Jason Shirka has recently posted a warning that on October 4th, FEMA will be using 5G frequencies to activate nanopathogens in the blood of the vaccinated. On October 4th at 2.22 p.m. Eastern Time, the emergency broadcast system will be activated across the entire United States under the leadership of FEMA disguised as a test. However, this test will be used to send a specific high frequency signal through devices like smartphones, radios, and TVs with the intention of activating graphene oxide and other nanoparticles that have been inserted into billions of human beings around the world through the obvious mediums. If the October 4th date does not occur for any reason, the backup plan will be to do it on October 11th at the same time. In the case that this is not able to be stopped, I ask you all to shut off your phones and all other relevant devices at 2 p.m. Eastern time for a period of two hours to be safe. I don't know who this guy is, but I will add that we probably want to turn the 5G off for good. And we definitely need to take control of our government because a plan as diabolical as this would be game over. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.